everybody. This is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. This is uh, June the 20th, 2023. We have an emergency alert today. It does look like that uh, we're going to get our false flag attack that we've been talking about, false flag by NATO, by Ukraine. Ukraine is about to blow up the Zaporizhia power plant. They are going to blame it on Russia. And uh, NATO is going to get involved. We warned you about this. We warned you on our last video that Russia uh, is going to be blamed for a false flag, a false flag, because the only way for Ukraine to defeat the Russian forces is if NATO gets involved. Now, we have Defender 2023 drills going on right now, and they're going to end in two days. But... Zelensky now has put out in the press that Russia is planting bombs at the power plant and Russia is going to blow it up, folks. Why would Russia blow up the power plant? It doesn't benefit Russia to blow up the largest nuclear power plant in Ukraine, but it does benefit Ukraine and NATO is going to get involved. This is the false flag we've been talking about. We've been talking about this for over a year that NATO is going to have to do some kind of false flag, blame it on Russia. And then NATO can do it, uh, get involved. Is it a coincidence that this is the largest uh, drills that NATO is doing right now? This is the largest drills that they are holding uh, right now in the world. So we're going to be going live on Rumble in about 30 minutes. We're going to go over. We have so many important breaking news stories, folks. This is an emergency alert. We also have information that Israel is about to give Ukraine 200 of their tanks. We have troop movements all over the United States. You don't want to miss this live breaking news on Rumble in about 30 minutes at about 4.30. That would be 7.30 Eastern Standard Time or 4.30 Western Standard Time. I will leave the link to our Rumble channel in the description box. You're going to want to record this. You want to share it out because things are about to hit the fan, folks. This is not a drill, I believe, in the next week or so we're going to see a major escalation i do believe nato is going to get involved they're finally going to get their false flag they're going to blame it on russia and they're going to get involved and they're going to start bombing russian targets all throughout ukraine i believe it's going to happen so stay tuned get your popcorn and peanuts you better get ready because all hell is about to break loose on this earth so remember see us over on rumble we'll be over on rumble in about 30 minutes bye bye Mm, I'm ready. I hope it happens. I'm ready. Shalom, shalom, Yashur Allah. We're going to start our first things first. Give our praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakadash, which is the Pele Hebrew tongues, created as a father, the son of the spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the sister and brothers, Lebanon is true. And Shalom to brothers and sisters that's listening and studying to show themselves approved. Shalom. Now, as you just heard from the whistleblower, um, Off Grid Desert Farming, I've been watching this this Edomite for about about a year or two. Um, he's very informative when it comes to like war. I think he's ex-military, and this is how I know he be he be on point. A lot of stuff he done said done came to pass, and he be going in on the war so hard that he done got banned. He didn't got strikes on YouTube, so that's why he went to Rumble. He'll put a report on, but he really does his thing on Rumble. And now he's saying, because this dude been calling stuff out, and he's been on point. I think, like, he knows how Babylon, America's military operates. So he be calling it out before it happens. So that's why I, I watch the whistleblowers, because they'll let you know what, what's going to happen before it comes. So he's saying right now that Ukraine is going to blow up one of their power plants and then blame it on Russia. That way they can get NATO involved. And woo, do I want that to happen? Because once NATO gets involved, the EU, European Union, which is the B system, that's when World War III really going to kick off big time. Because if NATO gets involved, that means Babylon the Great going to be involved. You already know what Russia going to do. Russia's going to call China. China's going to get involved. When that happens, we're at World War III. So we're very close. And if this event goes down the way he said it's going to go down, if they end up blowing up that, that nuclear power plant and blame it on Russia, hey, it's going down. 
and NATO gets involved, it's going down. And like you said, I've been watching my other news outlets, Wygon, and they are running a lot of military drills right now. NATO, which Babylon the Great America is a part of that. Turn it down so don't drown me out. They're running big time drills. They're using the biggest aircraft carrier. The USS Gerald Ford is involved, man. Like you can tell they're getting ready for war. It's going to be war. Might as well get ready, get prepared. World War III will happen. It's a prophesied and our Bible is going to happen. And then like once World War III breaks out, this devil's going to like move super fast. Because then chaos is going to break out over here. Once chaos breaks over here, he's going to try to establish some type of security or a, a new system. And to be involved in it, you're going to have to have that MOTB. So the MOTB will go out when all hell is going out. Chaos. Because that's going to be his, his fix to the chaos. People going to need security, need to be safe, need food, need water, need shelter. And Esau going to come like, I got you, man. But... If you're going to be in my system, I got to tag you real quick. I got to put that micro CHIP in you. And see, these people that they don't believe in Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah, I have any faith, they're going to take it because they don't. all they know is the system. See, we're not going to take that because we already know what's going on. We know World War III is about to happen. We know the fame is coming. We know, you know, military troops are going to be running around. We're not going to go to them and ask them for help because the help they're going to give you is by putting a device in your body. That's what they're going to do. So I'm hearing the whistleblower say this. I hope this happens because I don't know about you, Yashua. I'm ready to get the hell up out of here. And World War III to me can't come quick enough because World War III will kick off when the MOTB start rolling out. You know, you've got the Fed now about to come on in about, I think, what, another week or two? Well, sometime July, they said it's going to roll out in July. We'll see if that's to happen. But major prophecy is happening. They say you got World War III going on. MOTB is getting prepped. CBDCs are getting prepped for the MOTB. And look like, man, if everything go right, we could be out of here by this year or the next. So I'm hoping that this, this thing escalates. I've been watching the war, you know, closely. Trying to see, you know, any little thing, who got blew up, what's happened over here. I'm looking at NATO like, man, is you going to get involved or what? You giving up weapons and they getting blew up. See that president in Ukraine, he knows what I like I know. For them to have any semblance of a victory, NATO has to get involved. Right now, they ain't really got involved like that. They, they've been giving them little weapons, little troops. No, they got to fully commit to that war and declare the World War III. And then we already know what Putin gonna do. He's gonna call China and, and the BRICS nations, and man, it's gonna be a big battle royale. And that's the sooner we can get up out of here. Because World War III is the end of Esau Edom's rulership. That's why Esau really don't want to go to World War III. He know like we know. He don't. He's trying to keep everything going easy. He's trying to uh, appease everybody. Uh, hand out a little, you know, trade. But the Lord done put hooks in the jaws of Russia. And it's making Russia, you know, do what they do. And that's not going to die down. It's only going to fester. So check it out. This is Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. So that's talking about World War III right there. See, your average plantation Christian read that and be like, man, they ain't, they ain't said no World War III. It said third woe. I'm like, what a woe go into, man? And come on, man, we done had two. So how the Bible, you know, it's going to say three. Come on, man. It's not a coincidence. I say you need the, really the spirit in you to really open up and see what the Bible is talking about. Because that's talking about World War III. And we are at the, the footsteps of that. About to be a reality. And to prove that, let's go to Revelation 9 and 12. You know, if we want to pull up. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it to pull up. Y'all see that? It's pulling up blank. Let's exit and open it up again. Y'all see that? He saw it messing with my phone. Pulled up blank. So check it out. It's Revelation 9 and 12. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. So it's talking about World War I and past. 
and said two more woes are to come. So the Lord is letting us know. He's giving us markers. He said three. You know, there ain't no coincidence that we done had two world wars. And now the third one is approaching. It don't say a fourth war, none of that, because after the third world war, we're going to be set up in rulership, and then the nations will war no more. That's how we know they're not the people. And that's how you know this talk about world wars. You know, you look into that word, whoa, it goes into uh, great devastation. Matter of fact, let's go get that. Let's go to our Blue Letter Bible, and let's get that for edification's sake. This is a good time to go get that. Let's go to Revelation 9. <coughs> Bless me. 9 and 12. And let's look up that word, whoa. Strong's G, 3759. Uai. 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 That's the Strong's Greek in, in, in woe. And it means grief. Let me see. I'm going to get some definitions. I guess it has got grief right there. You know, in a, a world war, that is major grief. I might go get the etymology of the word. Because it's the primary explanation of grief. And a world war, man, there ain't nothing good about a world war. You know, all you get is grief, sorrow. You know, you get a lot of death in a world war. So that's why the Lord said, called it a woe, because it is. Every world war brings mass death. And this third one is going to bring the most mass death, because it's going to climax with nuclear devastation those nukes will go off that putin keep threatening that he gonna use he's eventually gonna use them in due time when the lord is ready for these these heathens to use their nukes it's gonna happen you know and it's gonna bring that's when it's gonna bring hell on earth that's where you're gonna get your lake of fire at you know and all them gonna get cast into that lake of fire man that's why esau really don't want world war three but it's like he can't push it back no more like them Eastern Edomites, Putin, Russia, hey, they're angry, man. They like, hey, man, I'm about tired of you dominating me, telling me what to do, taking land from me. Like, Russia has a strong military, a very great sword. So they looking like, why should I listen to the U.S. tell me anything? Ukraine is my, my land, and I'm taking it back. I don't give a damn what they got to say. And I got a strong ally with China which is red, and you look at Russia, they're red, and they them together, that is like the strongest military power on the face of the planet. America and NATO know they can't deal with that. So they trying to like, you know, I don't want to smoke. You know, let's do some trade, calm down. And Russia like, I ain't calming down. I want Ukraine. Either you give me Ukraine, or you can get smashed out just like they getting smashed out. See, that dude, I noticed... That president of Ukraine, he's like an instigator. He's instead of him conceding, and it's like, man, here, here you go. He's like, he's 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 making it worse. You know, which they let me know that the Lord is controlling everything. Like what he say, let me matter of fact, let's go get that. I want is that Ezekiel 38. Let's go get that. Yeah, there it goes. Ezekiel 38 and 4. Because it's like, even if they wanted to calm down, they're not going to calm down. Because of this precept right here, this is Ezekiel 38 and 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor. Even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So, even if, like, Putin, if they wanted to, you know, de-escalate that, it's not. It's going to fester. Dude gonna do something. He's gonna aggravate. Because that's time when he said, put hook into your jaws, bring your military. And the Lord talking about, nah, it's gonna be a, a rumble. You gonna bang. He said, all your company. That's all them BRICS nations. You know, then like when you go to five, he labels out some of the countries that's gonna bang with, with Russia. That's gonna fight against, you know, NATO, the beast, and the whore. Then the beast, you know, the NATO, European Union, gonna end up hating America. Because you got to remember, Yashrallah, America blew up 
their natural gas pipe, the Nord Stream. Don't forget that. That's still, you know, being discussed. You know, uh, European Union didn't forget about that. European Union right, really fussing at America right now, talking about you ain't doing enough for Ukraine. We're, we're giving all our tanks up and our jets up. They getting all smashed up and beat up. And you over there keeping stuff holding back to yourself. You need to get to the forefront. They basically saying America dragging their feet. And as that argument kicks up, NATO might just say, you know what? I'm in this mess because of America. Because of Babylon the Great, which represents that great whore. They're going to know that and say that. And guess what they're going to do? Attack. Babylon the Great, America, and if Babylon the Great loses NATO as an ally, hey, you might as well stick a fork in her. She's done. That's the only thing keeping these other nations in check is NATO. That's it. America, NATO is the only thing. Like that's the two battles you got. You got the BRICS nations, Russia, China. And then you read the scriptures. Ezekiel thirty-eight and five, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them, and all of them with shield and helmet. Helmet. Six, Gomer, which is uh, Turkey, and all of his bands, the house of Tagomar of the North Quarters, and all his bands, and many people with them. That's the BRICS nation. The BRICS nation is about to even get even bigger. They're talking about putting more, I think like 30 nations want to join BRICS nations. So it's about to be like, be like everybody versus Babylon Great America. That's why NATO look like, man, I want to bang with everybody. You know what? Hey, America ain't good. Let's, let's all burn her up. You know, let's all get hurt. Cause I'm I'm about I'm I'm tired of this place, man. Cause they ain't got no natural gas. And it's gonna be harsh for them going into the winter and they got no natural gas. They already had a problem last year. And that's why the European Union, their economy is crashing faster. Cause they right there right next to Russia and they put them sanctions on them and it backfired. Cause they get they, they was getting a lot of their stuff from Russia. So they in trouble. Why? Cause they did what America say do. So I know they're feeling like fools. Oh, check it out. I found this out too, Yasharala. France, a, a European nation, is thinking about joining the BRICS nation. Can you believe that? Uh, uh, a European nation is thinking about joining the BRICS nations. How do you think that's going to fare? So NATO, if they lose uh, France, France, they're going to become weaker. Because I think if France leave, other European countries might want to leave as well. So hey, it ain't looking good for Babylon the Great. NATO looking like, hey, man, I, I, I really don't want this fight. I really don't. And they over there looking at America like, man, this is your fault. You trying to protect Ukraine. We don't give a damn about that little bitty place. That was you trying to protect your businesses. Now look at us get bombed on. I really hope NATO get involved. I really do. Because it's going to kick it off. So let me go. I had a precept in my head I wanted to get. Oh, yeah. When I was talking about. They're going to they gonna burn her. They're going to shoot at her. Let's go to Jeremiah. I know it's in chapter 51. Or it might be in 50. There you go. That's what I want. Jeremiah 50 and 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All oh, yeah, they bend the bow. All people got nuclear missiles. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord. So these countries in a minute, man, they're going to shoot all their nukes at Babylon the Great America. And that's why we need to be tucked safely in the spirit of Yahweh Bashiach Shah. That way we can get on chariots and we don't taste that nuclear fire that these people are about to get. Because everybody's about to shoot their nukes at this place, man. We just read it right here in the scriptures. You know, that's why they said, all they that bend the bow. They ain't about to shoot no bow and arrows. Nah, that ain't what that's talking about. That's talking about shooting nuclear missiles, warheads. <laughs> hey, they about to knock off every concrete, every street with an Edomite name on it. About to get straight scorched. And Esau know that. <laughs> that's why he trying to delay this. He's like, man, let's not fight right now. Let's. Let's get some money. Putin like, nah, I want to fight right now. I want to fight right now. I'm not, nope, I don't even want your little, your little dollar bill no more. That's what the BRICS nation's about. They don't want to use the dollar bill no more. They are sick and tired of battling the great America. And they are plotting to take this place down. And see, them plotting to take this place down, that's the Lord plotting to take this place down. That's the Lord surrounding her. Showing her like, you know, I built you up, but that was just to, you know, knock you down. 
Because really, all I want is my people that's in you. That's the only reason this place ain't got nuked yet, because the children of Israel are still here. Once children of Israel get sealed and go, and go up into the chariots, hey, it's going to be bombs away. Bombs away. That's what I said. The MOTB going to roll out. Probably like a little before World War III really just jump out to the climax. The MOTB going to roll out. They already got, uh, what, what's that? Elon Musk got FDA approval. You know, he getting that approved. And they're going to set everything up. And so there's going to be some chaos. It's going to be war over here. And then when, like, say when they really start back in World War III, man, they going to, man, Russia and China is going to invade Babylon the Great. America. And they're going to knock off a lot of, it's going to be a lot of judgment, man. A lot. So if you ain't right with the Lord, hey, you about to get messed up. So check it out. It's Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that set thereon to take peace from the earth. And that he should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So that backs what I said earlier. Russia and China together, that is a great sword. That's a great sword. That's a very strong military. China's military is strong. Russia's military is strong. Together? Come on, man. That's that. Hey, like the scripture said, that's a great sword right there. They got hypersonic missiles, tanks, all kind of uh, high-end jets, like new jets. And like I said, the horse was red. You look at Russia's army, they're red. You look at China's army, they're red. Horse going to power. They red power going to come together and smash Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. She about to get smashed. Toe out the frame. And hey, we're going to love that, man. We are not going to be, oh, no, my duck ain't go. We're going to be like, yes. It's about time. We've been waiting a long time for this hole to go down. Long time. And I think everybody can smell it, too, in the air. Prophecy is thick in the air right now. So you can just tell that it's about to go. So I'm going to keep you updated. On the World War III news, man, we'll see if that happens. If you hear it on the news, hey, you heard it here first, man. And then, like, if that happens, we're going to look for NATO to get involved. If NATO gets involved, that's going to be the start of World War III. We're no longer going to be in a room of war or a proxy war. If NATO gets involved, because the Babylon Great America is a part of NATO, if NATO gets involved, that's going to force Russia to call on their allies, China, India, South America, Brazil, and there's going to be many more nations in the BRIC nations, and they're going to click up, and they're all going to fight, and we need to be out the way of that, don't be, hey, it ain't got nothing, hey, they bang, it ain't got nothing to do, we serving the Lord over here, so, it is what it is, we don't care, like I said, we're going to get our popcorn out, <laughs> you know, and if they bring the troops over here, we're going to just, hey, watch out, evade them, you know, move in silence, and this, hey, stick, stick to the script. So with that been self, it's been edifying. I want to say, Quam Yashra Allah, DTL Baba Bob, and Shalom.